Hello, it's me again, Mr. Roach, for another guitar lesson. This is guitar lesson number nine of our series, and the topic for our lesson at this time is learning the song, This Land is Your Land, by Woody Guthrie. So, things that we'll look at particularly. First, I'll demonstrate the song. Uh, second, uh, I'll talk a little bit about the song's background, uh, relating to the composer, why he wrote it, and some other items. And um, then we'll break down the melody, identify what are the notes, the letter names uh, involved in it, and then we'll conclude with some tips to help as you continue then learning the song for yourself. Uh, let's get started. Um, the way we'll learn it, uh, we'll learn the main melody um, involving the notes that we've learned so far, all eight of the notes, notes G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. I will say that if you don't quite have those eight notes memorized yet, I would recommend that you review the previous videos um, and getting more used to and better memorized with those or just practice them a little more until they're more secure with your memory. Um, otherwise, continue with the video then and uh, proceeding to learning the song. I'm actually going to demonstrate it by singing some of the words and playing it. And then afterward, I'll show you the, we'll be learning the melody that I'll sing on the guitar. Okay? Um, so then here is uh, This Land is Your Land by Woody Guthrie. This land is your land. This land is my land. my thumb here. I'm doing it for these particular chords for this particular song, okay? Um, and we're not learning the chords on this song, so we, so you should keep your thumb behind the neck, as later we'll learn the melody, okay? Anyway, um, uh, some, some items behind its history. Um, if one were to look up this song on Google, you might arrive at Wikipedia, and some things on Wikipedia you might read will involve this. This land is your land is one of the United States' most famous folk songs. It, it, its lyrics were written by American folk singer Woody Guthrie in 1940, based on an existing melody, a Carter family tune called When the World's on Fire, in critical response to Irving Berlin's song, God Bless America, very famous patriotic song today. When Guthrie was uh, tired of hearing singer Kate Smith sing God Bless America on the radio in the late 1930s, he sarcastically called his song God Bless America for Me before renaming it This Land is Your Land. Interesting. Also in, in 2002, This Land is Your Land was one of the 50 recordings chosen that year by the Library of Congress to be added to the National Recording Registry. Pretty big deal to only have those few songs to be put into that uh, registry out of the thousands of songs that existed by that time. Uh, also, also notable to say that um, though uh, it was written in 1940, um, it, so the song was revived, uh, particularly in the folk music movement of the 1960s. Uh, particularly recorded, performed by artists like Bob Dylan, uh, the Kingston Trio, and Peter, Paul, and Mary group. Okay, so that's interesting. Well, what do you want, what do I want you to do? So, um, well, let's, let me play it again. So, no singing. But, um, let me play it then, uh, the melody as we'll aim to learn it now. Here we go. It starts with the note C. I'll play it all the way through. Um, at about about this speed. Here are our beats. 
our counts. Here we go. One, two, ready, and go. I'm playing it slower than I sang earlier. However, um, what you should see in this video um, are some notes, and I'm gonna repeat it a few times to help keep it in your ear. I'm not gonna get into such great detail as for what's the rhythm each step of the way, um, but let me play it again, and I'm gonna say the, say the letters as I play it. Here I go, start with C. One, two, three. Three, four, here. C, D, E, F, F. C, C, D, E, E. C, E, E, D, D. D, C, D, E, E. C, D, E, F, F. C, C, D, E. Okay, so our approach to learning longer, maybe more complicated songs, take the long main melody and break it into bits. Okay, so you to help hear these bits, you could simply listen for when there's a pause in time before the next notes or group of notes. So start to see the next bit, I would say, or the first one would be this C, D, E, F, F, that. C, D, E, F, F, that's five notes. C, D, E, F, F. We repeat the F, but altogether it's five notes of, of strumming. Um, repeat that order of notes. Repeat that order of letter names. C, D, E, F, F, okay. You would work on that, um, and then you would work on the next bit or the next part. This C, C, D, E, E, C, C, D, E, E. Okay, that's another five notes, all right? Um, first group is five. Uh, what's the next group? How many notes? Will it be five? So the next, the third group would be C, E, E, D, D, C, E, E, D, D. Yes, another five. We may have a pattern. The next group would be then D, C, D, E, E. Letters D, C, D, E, E. I love patterns, okay? Um, at least that we've got five and five and five and five. The next group would be our C, D, E, F, F. C, D, E, F, F. And then getting close to the end, C, C, D, E, E. C, C, D, E, E, awesome. And then it breaks that five note group pattern and it plays three Ds. It is this D, D, D. Um, particular rhythm I'll point out here. We have a short, long, short. It's like a short, long, excuse me, short, long, short, um, in that kind of a way. It's not just D, D, D quickly, but short, long, short, and then it'll proceed to the next group. The final group finally includes the newest notes on our third string. So that final group or bit is B, G, A, B, C. B, G, A, B, C. Another group of five notes, okay? So, all right. We've got kind of a pattern there. Um, some tips, um, 
we were working on one of those, break the song into smaller sections or bits. Um, watch out for possible challenge places, which might be repeated notes. So where we might have two C's in a row, like on the second group, or two D's in a row, like on the third group, or two F's in a row, like on the first group. Identify those, just be aware that you have some of those repeats to play the correct number of notes that share the same letter name. Um, and also watch out for the very end because at the very end is finally where you use the third string, where you have those made for you and me um, of that section of the lyrics. Um, watch out for those locations, would you? Um, to conclude, I'd say um, I'll, I'll, I'll do a little play along um, guitar part for you if you'd like to play the melody when you're ready on top of that. So um, let me keep our practice tempo that we're at and then I'll do it at a faster tempo at immediately after. So um, we are currently at the tempo about about right there. And I'll kind of lightly sing the lyrics to help keep you on track as well. Here we go. Uh, my count off will be one, two, three, four, one. In that way. Here we go. One, two, three, four, one. This land is your land. This land to play the original tempo I sang at that speed. You may try that at this time if you like. So what was that? That was about, about that. Those would be your beats or counts. Here we go, ready? Same count off, ready? And one, two, three, four, one. This land is your land. This land is my land. with yourself. Uh, work at one section at a time. You know what to do. Uh, we've gone through things that help me as a player as I continue to practice and learn new things. Um, whatever challenge, whether that's this song or a different song or something else, um, meet that challenge. Take on that challenge and work on it one step at a time. Be patient with yourself. Take breaks um, when you think is necessary. Don't want you to burn out, get too frustrated. Um, but keep at it. You can do it. Absolutely. And uh, keep practicing. All right. See you next time. Bye.